today we are going to learn about a very important molecule which is very often used nowadays for the management oral management of diabetes mellitus especially in adults the name of this molecule is sitagliptin this sitagliptin comes from a very important class of oral anti diabetic medications and this class in short is called as gliptins now what are the gliptins gliptins pharmacological or molecule wise they come under the category of di peptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors big name so in short it is called as dpp4 inhibitors di peptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors dpp4 inhibitors okay now how do they work they work by blocking the action of an enzyme called dpp4 that is di peptidyl peptidase enzyme dpp4 is an enzyme which destroys a group of gastrointestinal hormones called incretins now what are incretins incretins are hormones which help stimulate the production of insulin when it is needed that is for example after eating and reduce the production of the hormone glucagon when it is not needed that is during digestion these dpp4 enzymes or these incretins they also slow down the the digestion and decrease the appetite so therefore by protecting incretins from damage dpp4 inhibitors they help regulate the blood glucose levels so that is in short how the dpp4 inhibitors work as i have said dp4 dp4 inhibitors there are lots of gliptins in this category for example sitagliptin tenagliptin saxagliptin valdagliptin etc etc they have all common features being members of the same category uh, such as mechanism of action side effects precautions warnings usage etc etc and therefore today since sitagliptin is a very widely used gliptin today we will like to to learn a little more about this molecule that is sitagliptin so what you need to know before taking sitagliptin first of all do not take sitagliptin if it is if you are allergic to sitagliptin or any of the molecules or any of the ingredients which are used in the formation of the sitagliptin tablet that is number 1 what are the warnings and precautions before taking or during taking of sitagliptin it has been reported that there is inflammation of pancreas it is called as pancreatitis it has been reported that patients receiving uh, sitagliptin can have pancreatitis if you encounter blistering of skin it may be a warranty or it may cause a condition called bullous pemphigoid it's a skin dermatological problem so if you get it your your doctor will tell you to stop sitagliptin in addition you should tell your doctor if you have had in the past or if you are having pancreatitis you may be a patient of pancreatitis then if you are having gallstones of your or you are suppose alcohol dependent having lot of alcohol every day or you have hyper triglyceridemia that is triglycerides are a different type of fat so if you are having that increased levels of triglycerides then you should report to the doctor and what is more important is these medical conditions they increase your chance of getting pancreatitis then obviously if you are a type 1 diabetic patient which is relatively rare in adults then if you have diabetic keto acidosis now what is keto acidosis diabetic keto acidosis is a complication of diabetes which is shown by high blood sugar rapid weight loss nausea and vomiting then of course any past uh, or present kidney problems and allergic i have already told you the fun of sitagliptin is it does not or it is unlikely to lower the blood sugar because it doesn't work when your blood sugar is low simple however when it is used in combination with other blood sugar lowering medications such as insulin sulfonylurea metformin etc etc then uh, hypoglycemia can occur and therefore 
the your, your your doctor may reduce the dose of sitagliptin proportionally or the other anti diabetic medications so therefore it is very imperative that you should be telling the doctor whether you are taking or whether you are on any other medications what about driving and using machines sitagliptin has no or negligible influence on the ability to drive or use machines but however dizziness and drowsiness have been reported which may affect the patient's uh, ability to drive or use machines so one has to be careful taking sitagliptin in combination with medicines called sulfonylureas or with insulin they can hypoglycemia which may again uh, lead to a sort of effect on the ability to drive or machines does sitagliptin contain sodium yes very important because many of the diabetics can be hypertensive but please remember that sitagliptin contains very less amount of sodium that is something like 1 micro molecule of sodium that is 23 mg per tablet and therefore practically it is sodium free how to take sitagliptin always take sitagliptin exactly as your doctor has told you and check with your doctor or pharmacist if you are not sure the usually recommended dose is 100 mg film coated tablet once a day by month if you have kidney problems your doctor may reduce the dose etc etc he may advise you to take 50 mg or 25 mg whatever the case may be you can take sitagliptin with or without food or drink so food or drink is immaterial while you are consuming sitagliptin your doctor may also prescribe sitagliptin alone with other medicines which may lower sugar which i told you earlier so accordingly we have to take that precaution what about diet and exercise now diet and exercise surely help your body to reduce the blood sugar better and it is important therefore to stay on the diet and exercise as recommended by your doctor while taking sitagliptin so what happens if you take more amount of sitagliptin than you should if you take it so then you have to contact your doctor immediately and then he'll tell you what restrictive measures have to be taken another important point what if you forget to take sit if you miss a dose take it as soon as you remember and it's possible if you don't remember until it's time for your next dose skip the missed dose and go back to your regular schedule please do not take sitagliptin in a double dose form 